This post contains a list of things to know to help put together tech meetup events. Loco is a Rust API and web framework for full-stack product builders that is strongly inspired by Rails. Unless something dramatically reverses Firefox's trends, the USWDS will soon tell government web devs that they don't have to support Firefox anymore. MLX is an array framework for machine learning on Apple Silicon with familiar APIs, composable function transformations, lazy computation, dynamic graph construction, and more. XI has filed with the SEC to raise up to $1 billion in an equity offering. It has already raised nearly $135 million from four investors and has a binding and enforceable agreement for the purchase of the remaining shares. The startup released an AI chatbot with real-time knowledge of the internet called Grok last month. It aims to directly compete with companies like OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic. SpaceX and NASA may be demonstrating orbital refueling technology on the next Starship test flight. NASA has yet to make a decision on when to start testing the capability. Cryogenic propellants must be kept at super low temperatures or they turn into a gas and boil off. Rockets using these types of propellants typically need to complete their missions within hours. NASA wants to extend this lifetime to months and enable the transfer of the propellants from one vehicle to another. Agility Robotics is building a manufacturing facility in Salem, Oregon, that will eventually pump out 10,000 bipedal robots a year. The RoboFab will open early next year. Agility Robotics Digit is the first commercially available human-shaped robot designed for warehouse work. Deliveries of the robots will start in 2024. Animate Anyone uses a generative video technique to create videos from pictures of people. While its results are far from perfect, the model is a huge leap over the previous state of the art, which produced way more artifacts or completely lost important details. The team behind the model hasn't released the code for it yet. Videos showing deepfakes made with Animate Anyone are available in the article. Stylix is an expressive, deterministic, reliable, and scalable styling system. It was carefully designed to meet the requirements of large application, reusable component libraries and statically typed code bases. Stylix is fully typed and supports an expressive subset of CSS. It takes the developer experience of CSS in JS libraries and uses compile time tooling to bridge it with the performance and scalability of static CSS. This blog post presents a cursory overview of the internals of iMessage. It glosses over specific technical details, but links to resources to see how things are specifically implemented are provided. The post covers how Apple's push notification service works, how the identity service's key server makes registration requests, and message encryption. This article covers what happened behind the scenes during OpenAI's recent five-day crisis. It also looks at Microsoft's relationship with OpenAI and the company's history with AI. Microsoft's CTO Kevin Scott, the person most responsible for forging the OpenAI partnership, believes that AI is one of the most powerful things humans have ever invented. It will take a lot of time to develop the technology, but it could improve the quality of life for everyone. The internet cannot be portrayed as a district development from a world increasingly in turmoil. Removing the constraint of physical distribution may have accelerated the development of many technologies, but it also created many problems. An increasingly AI-generated world where all content is customized for every individual may help more people realize the only way to survive online is to pay it increasingly little heed. Amazon's investment in NVIDIA hardware is huge. There is clearly room to bend the price-performance curve.